Hi guys, Quinn here from Market Reflex Tech again. Now the planter. So I came across this interesting little, I'm not too sure if you would really call it a bug, and I couldn't replicate it exactly, but I don't want to show you this one because it is producing a interesting issue, which is if you look here on the right, so if you look on the tool palette, you by default generally you've got a concentric reducer, an eccentric reducer, but it's an eccentric top reducer, so the flat section is on top. Now, if you're transferring something like sludge, if I'm not mistaken, and that you're actually wanting a bottom, and in some cases you want to indicate this on a PNID. Now, I came across this because a client of that I was assisting, um, their reducers weren't flipping, and they were manually putting their reducers in, which I thought was quite strange. So I tried to actually replicate this as to how it was, but for some reason it's like I said, it's not producing exactly why, what I was trying to get to, but it's it's similar. So if I do pick off my new reducer, now the only thing that's different really on this one, you'll notice straight off the bat is the bottom. So the flat is on the bottom, but also notice which direction the reducer's picture is. And this is actually an indicator as to what's wrong here. So when I drop this on a line, you can see it breaks the line, and I can see 125 by 125. So before then, I'm just going to step back a bit. If I were to change the center line to, let's say, 65, you'll notice the reducers flip around like normal. But if I step back, and I put this reduce in, and let's say I change this line to a sign to 65, you notice the large end of this reducer is on the wrong side, which obviously is not correct because 125 should be on this side. This is actually a very simple thing that um, it was just very strange when I saw it. Now, the original one wasn't even flipping at all. The It would just remain in one direction. So the way that we actually can combat this and fix this is there's actually two things that can go wrong, and I'll show you guys now. If I go to my project setup, and I'll browse through my system. So the reducers by default are sitting in the PNID DWG settings, PNID class definitions, engineering items, inline assets, reducers. I'd like to put in a different section, I guess. Uh, probably because it requires a few special bits of information and then my one that I corrected was eccentric reducer bottom flat and like I said prior note which way around the reducers are facing because that is actually what's causing the problem in this specific case now to actually fix this is pretty simple all we have to do is mirror this in other words we have to we could use our mirror command mirror command and then mirror it around the center or the y-axis you can use your author mode and then erase the source objects don't worry about the attachment points they're already in the right location because we are mirroring it around the center point and the, in this case it will fix our problem there is another issue that you may experience and that is that your attachment points are slightly offset so if we go back to our properties, you notice in our Y direction, Y positive and Y negative. If your attachment points have got a Y value, so in other words, they're not 0, 0, 0, 0, they, if they were 0, 0, 0, 1 or something like that, it can also create the same issue. So it's a good idea then to make sure and check that both your Y coordinates are also made sure that they are not um, some value. If there are some value, you can actually force them, force them to be whatever value you require, or otherwise even better, draw it correctly. <laughs> Make sure that it's done right the first time. Now that that is done, that I've now flipped my reducer to the correct side. So like I said, so just think of it this way, long side, left. So left side, the long side, 
close the block editor, make sure that you remember to click save and not discard. Once that is done, you can see that now the long side is matched on both ones. I'm going to click OK. And now you can actually see that physically updates it. The prior one didn't actually physically update until I chucked it in and then it updates it. And now if I were to go to this and change this one to a sign maybe 150, I know this is implausible, but 150, now you can see that both of my larger sides are on the correct side now, the 150 diameter side of the pipe. So I hope that helps you guys. Have a good one. Cheers, eh? Bye.